we're told divide the polynomials. The form of your answer should either be just a clean polynomial or some polynomial plus some constant over x plus two where p of x is a polynomial and k is an integer. Fair enough. And if we were doing this on Khan Academy, this is a screenshot from Khan Academy, it, we would have to type this in, but we're just going to do it by hand. And like always, pause this video and try to do it on your own before we work through it together. All right, now let's work through it together. And what we're trying to do is divide x plus two into 3x to the third power plus 4x squared minus 3x plus seven. And so like always, we focus on the highest degree terms first. X goes into 3x to the third power how many times? Well, 3x squared times. We'd want to put that in the second degree column, 3x squared. 3x squared times two is 6x squared. 3x squared times x is 3x to the third power. There's something very meditative about algebraic long division. Anyway, we'd want to subtract what we just wrote from what we have up here. So let's subtract. And these characters cancel out. And then 4x squared minus 6x squared is negative 2x squared. Bring down that negative 3x. And now we would want to say, hey, how many times does x go into negative 2x squared? Well, it would go negative 2x times, put that in our first degree column. Negative 2x times two is negative 4x. Negative 2x times x is negative 2x squared. Now we want to subtract what we have here in orange from what we have up here in teal. So we either put a negative around the whole thing or we distribute that negative and that becomes a positive, that becomes a positive. And so this is equal to the x squared terms cancel out. Negative 3x plus 4x is just going to be a straight up x. Bring down that seven, x plus seven. How many times does x go into x? Well, one time. Actually, let me do a, use a new color here. So how many times does x go into x? It goes one time, put that in the constant column. One times two is two. One times x is x. We want to subtract these characters. And we're left with seven minus two is five. And so we can rewrite this whole thing as, we deserve, I guess, a little bit of a drum roll, three x squared minus two x plus one plus the remainder five over x plus two. One way to think about it is, hey, I have this remainder. I'd have to keep dividing it by x plus two if I really wanted to figure out exactly what this is. Now, if I wanted these expressions to be completely identical, I would put a condition on the domain that x cannot be equal to negative two, because if x was equal to negative two, we'd be dividing by zero here. But for the purposes of this exercise, you just have to input, you just have to input this part right over here. You'd have to type it in which I guess isn't the easiest thing to do in the world, but it's, it's worth doing. All right, see you in the next video.